unveiled the unmanned Tyrannis can fend off an attack, deploy weapons, gather intelligence from deep inside enemy territory. Sky's Tessa Chapman's been taking a look at the aircraft builders, the future of the Air Force. One million man hours have gone into creating the Tyrannis, this unmanned, stealthy combat aircraft which can think for itself and is crammed with the latest and best technology. Those behind it say it could change the future of defence in the UK. The newly completed Tyrannis demonstrator is behind the doors of this aircraft testing facility in Lancashire. There's high security around today's launch. They want to reveal as much as possible while retaining the necessary secrecy. The MOD gave us this footage of the moment the Tyrannis was revealed. They had to approve every frame so as not to give too much away. The project has cost £140 million. If flight trials are successful, its capabilities could be wide-ranging. It's possible that the, uh, the hardest possible missions, perhaps the dull ones, the dirty ones, but certainly the dangerous ones, can be carried out by this autonomous system, this robot, actually sent uh, at distance to uh, achieve that military effect. The innovation is here. How far it is developed will depend in no small part on defence budgets and future government policy. I fully expect that next year when we get the flight trials we really will be in a position to see just how far this kind of technology can enhance our battle winning performance and also of course enable us to make a contribution at the cutting edge of technology. The character of conflicts around the world is ever changing. The Tyrannis demonstrator shows just how much battlefield technology is moving to. Tessa Chapman, Sky News, Wharton in Lancashire.